All right, so what is Bee Island? It's a strategy game, and it's a fairly fun one, I think, as well. Let's have a quick look at the settings, because those are bare bones, as you can imagine. Uh, the game itself, you, you can disable tutorials, which I have. You can set your language. You can turn on or off clouds on the seafloor, and you can do a little check mark for mouse movement. I'll leave it off. Graphics, <laughs> nothing here. Um, nothing. This is... Okay, some sounds. That, that's it. You don't get to set anything. But you might not actually need to. It's not properly optimized right now, but eh, we'll just jump right in. There's two modes. This one hasn't been introduced yet, and the story mode is what you play. What I'm going to show you is it right now, so keep that in mind. Uh, we have this little story thing where it's basically you have this queen bee and... There, there's a holiday thing, and everyone was kind of happy about it. And there's some pollen on islands, and hornets around, so there's a problem. You know, let, let's get to go in and buzzing about. So this is your little uh, beehive island colony in the ocean that you start out with. You have these little bee workers that you don't call, control directly, flying about your little island, and some of them carry spears because they fight and in the center here you have your little queen bee that will continually lay eggs which will then become stuff like little workers flying around and the builder here with his little hammer and you also have these uh, honeycombs that are filled with various things like this is nectar this is pollen this is honey and this is wax wax you need to build more combs you have this little build menu up here and the queen will have some statistics for you on what you've built. Uh, very recently, there are some uh, statistics on infrastructure and your economy as well. This wasn't there uh, a few days ago, so it's actively being developed still. And here you have some uh, hive statistics on your weapons and air defense stuff. Uh, so that's pretty decent now, so you get a better idea of how proper everything works so but first uh, first things first uh, we are on a timer you see next wave here uh is gonna happen soon i'm not sure if we can trigger it if we click this we'll, we'll try it out later but for now uh we need to build out a little bit the first thing we need is to expand our building area we have a limit we can only have 500 of these and 300 of the bees but it's gonna be fine so first things first we're gonna build out a little bit over here and start our uh, wax production you can see the bees immediately come out. They pick up the wax here to build more combs, which we need. And uh, you can also tell our stock here is going down pretty quickly. So now we'll build us some uh, wax factories out here like so. And the bees will come in. Uh, bring the required materials. In this case, pollen seems to be what is the requirement here. You can tell by the little icon up there, the yellow little hexagon, if you hover over this, what resource is going to be needed. And this is pollen. So they come out and they build the little factories. Next up, the factory you can tell over here, this needs pollen to produce wax. So the worker bees bring in the pollen to put it there. And then this thing will just continue to produce wax. And the bees will take the wax and put it in the storage. Or else where, where it's actually currently needed. If you don't have any storage, then the factory is just going to pr stop producing. This goes for everything in the game. Here you can see some eggs having been produced. And this limits, obviously, how quickly you can do things. Uh, now the queen bee, just she, she kind of sits there. And you need to prevent hornets and other meanies coming in and, and hurting her so what we definitely need as any good hive would is more workers uh, out on the job so uh, how do we get that we need to build some kindergarten so let's expand even more over here and i have an idea on some of the shapes that i'm gonna need and we'll build two kindergartens which I think is kind of cute. I don't know if those are actually proper terms from beekeeping. <laughs> I have a feeling that's not that's not actually 
what it's called, but uh, that's fine. It needn't be perfect. So the bees that you produce need eggs and uh, nectar, the very basic ones, uh, or honey. I'm not quite sure. We're going to see. So to build it, we need wax and nectar. Nectar and pollen are just collected off on these sides here on the islands. I couldn't tell you, to be honest, if this is nectar or pollen. I would say that's that's pollen because it's kind of yellowish and this here probably is nectar because it's kind of bluish but i don't i don't quite know so i've played this uh i've played two full matches i've about four hours in there's three possible endings at the moment and i'm not quite sure if you're gonna have fun playing this beyond that so it's a very very short game at the moment with i would say limited replayability however if you can get it on sale, it might be worth it. I don't think it's worth a full price at the moment. Just going to put it out right now. This has stages which you kind of level through. So now we have our kindergartens up and we can go ahead and build us some bees. And you can see it costs us some... Well, the grey stuff I think is nectar. Uh, though it should be blue. And the orangey thing is um, honey. Oh no, white, the, the white stuff is an egg, not, not, so it just needs the egg and the honey, and you can see it's already there, and it's going to pop out over there. Let's build some more defensive bees for the moment. So one defensive bee here. Not sure why it's not taking the first click. You can see the little egg is being taken in, and let's build some more workers after that as well. So these guys are going to go out, collect, uh, and, and build a little bit. And then we're going to build a worker bee on both of these sides. And these are just going to be working out non-stop now. All right. So while we while we wait for our bees to come into existence, uh, next thing we're going to need is a research center uh, to get more stuff going. Because right now we can't produce honey. But we're definitely going to need honey. And the only way to get honey is to build a research center. Now the research cen center is a bit thick. <laughs> Look at that. And we can't properly nicely dock it here. So we'll build out a little bit. Like so. And onto this, we're going to build our uh, research center. We'll, we'll try and dock it there. Uh, that's not the right thing. There it is. Right. So you have to kind of keep in mind the shapes you want. Because you can't set it down without the combs being ready. Uh, to be set down upon. Um, actually, I'm not quite sure I want it on this side because this is this is already asymmetrical and I want to try and make it somewhat symmetrical. So we'll just delete some of these combs and we need um, these two, I think. Uh, no, we definitely don't need that. We need we need to build out around there and then out like this I'm not sure if we need to go in like that yeah probably I think it's pretty darn thick so let's see did I get the shape halfway right at least uh, yeah I overbuilt a little bit and underbuilt a little bit. So here's one missing. These two we don't need for this. And that should be the right size now. Now symmetry doesn't matter, obviously. You don't you don't need it to be symmetrical, but that's perfectly fine. You will level up through researching. And research, again, is just gonna use the the resources that you have here. Basil really so we're going to speed it up a little bit and we'll have our next wave soon as well let's just have the busy bees do their stuff you can zoom out quite a bit and have a look at what's going on um not sure why the eggs are not being taken in because we don't have enough honey so right now our bee production is kind of slowed down because we don't yet have the means to produce our own honey uh, the little horn you just heard means there's an enemy coming and if you look over the horizon back there you can see it There's one horn that's the first wave is coming in and your little 
brave bees, not just the defenders, but others also. Uh, I'm not sure. I have three defenders with the spear and the helmet. That th Those are later. That's something you research. I don't know why I'm starting with these, but uh, yeah. We lost one bee, but killed one hornet. <laughs> um, they tell us about it, and they're all excited. All right, so we built this now. Obviously, the first thing we want is uh, get the honey factory ready. And this will take two pollen and two nectar. So they'll take it out of these. Which, again, I'm going to speed it up. So we get to see some more of the gameplay. You can see your little bees picking it up from the storage and then dropping it in immediately. Or soon enough. Now, this the second this is ready, uh, it, it gets a little exclamation mark so you know that you can research something new and we will do so with increasing the efficacy of our defender bees giving them some spears so after that everyone here that's just circling should have a spear um, in terms of building storage you only really want to build storage for things you have enough of or a lot of I'm just going to research through here. You don't need to follow along. Uh, the storage management is mainly that. So you look at what you have too much of and then you build the storage for it. The storage for wax we don't have right now. So we'll have to research this first before we can build it. But right now I want some uh, static defenses that we can put up. Which will then again use some wax for being built. And of course we will... Uh, continue to research some stuff i'm just going through these not going to discuss them each individually what they do uh and now we've researched this tower here uh and these are kind of fun in themselves so let's build one it just takes some wax of which we have enough and funnily enough or luckily enough the bees take wax from the factory first it appears so they don't immediately go for the storage if there's something in the factory they will get that first now, the cool thing about these towers, not everyone, but almost every tower, is uh, you can click on them and you can control them yourself <laughs> if you feel like it. And honestly, especially with these uh, spear shooting towers, um, they are a little bit wonky and trying to hit something on their own. Once the wasps and stuff are engaged, the hornets are engaged with your bees up above your uh, hive, they are going to hit properly. But as the Hornet flies in, they're not going to hit much, sadly. So it could be an interesting thing to do that. And that's it. Okay? This is the game. I'm not, I'm not exaggerating or trying to downplay this at all. You research these things. You slowly go through the stuff. And we're kind of stuck because I haven't built a honey uh, production line yet. Uh, so let's see honey factories look like this so we could dock some on this end without looking too weird So just do that um, You research you upgrade you go through eventually you will reach research level three it just goes through the tabs here and Then you choose an ending depending on what you have achieved on your playthrough so far it's not it's not a lot that's in here yet um, it's very simple it's very straightforward but as a bit of a tower defensey almost idle game uh, where you get to build very cute little and pretty little hives depending on how you want to go like the I have a full playthrough I'm gonna link it down uh, in the description to a Twitch stream where, where I streamed a full playthrough. Uh, keep in mind the, <laughs> the first eight minutes I streamed without the sound, so the timestamp will be at the eight minute mark thereabouts. And it's uh, it's a good time, honestly. It's very simple, it's almost relaxing in a way, um, and it gets really, really crazy down the line. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil that too much but let's just say uh, bees are a whole lot more militant than I thought that they would be 
and uh, we'll see it with the second attack coming in. Let's have a quick look around where they might be coming from. It's not always the exact same direction, but there they go. You can see how the how the spear shooter has a bit of a difficulty to keep up with the flying hornet there. Okay, there's some more coming in. See, as they move, it's 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 not it's not hitting too well. As I said, you could you could go in there and try and take it. They managed without. But yeah, that's that's the static defense. Obviously, the more you have, the the better they're gonna be. And the things that fall on your stuff, they eventually go away. So, you needn't worry about being left with dead corpses. See, it's just kind of poofed away right there. Uh, there's various types of enemies that come in. Later, there will be big moths uh, or ladybugs and uh, fireflies and all that kind of stuff are, are coming in. And I think, at least in my experience so far, depend the, the type of enemy that you might get it really heavily depends on what you build over on this side. So unless you go into the second stage of your research, uh, stuff's going to just you know stay the same but no guarantees what i wanted to try right now i hear they're, they're telling you okay they're working with dragonflies and dragonflies are going to try and drop some uh, some bad stuff on your head so let's just build some more defensive towers and we'll just have this bridge full of defensive towers now some more things to keep in mind when you build this is um not Fully filling out could be a good idea because there's going to be area of effect uh, enemies attacking you. Another thing is the only building that upgrades as you go through is or automatically updates in space in, in its place where you have put it is your research center. This just comes up with age. All the other things either don't have a second stage, like the, all the fabrication things that just exist as they are, uh, or you have to replace the thing that you're trying to upgrade, like the storage. Uh, there's going to be double storage down the road, but you have to delete it and then put it up again, which I'm not even too mad about, honestly, as a, as a mechanic, because you kind of have to time it right. You, you might be thinking, okay, I have to replace all the pollen storage now because we're constantly full, and uh, so what do we do, right? And you might be putting a preference on researching things that use a lot of pollen to clear out your space so you don't lose too much of what you've already gathered. And I thought that that is kind of, I don't know, uh, it's pretty fun as a, as a side mechanic that you have to deal with. I enjoyed it enough to not be mad about it. Um, right, so if you think this what you've seen so far interests you then consider the game if this doesn't appeal to you at all either graphically or gameplay wise then just don't bother well click on next wave you can summon them immediately if you feel like uh you're you're well prepared and you don't want to wait then you can just have them come at you and there they come we, of course, have a whole lot more <laughs> in defenses now. And that was them. And there's a dragonfly coming in. These have a bit more of a bomber sound. And you can see it's dropping this area of effect here. And it is damaging your stuff. You can't see the damage. Like Sometimes you see this little bit of burning there. And a worker bee is going to show up and try and repair this. Uh, after the fact. But generally like th there's no health indication beyond these little burning stuff so if you build out a little bit just as a as a general tip you have a better chance of not uh, having it destroyed too heavily you can see here the little worker bees just helping repair all this and of course we we completely made it through let's summon the next wave and we'll just overwhelm our own defenses a little bit um because we're kind of ill prepared for all the things that are coming our way now um let's see oh there's there's the hornets coming but <laughs> that one got yeeted into space so the hornets are kind of going for your bees first 
Uh, they don't ap attack your hive directly. And obviously your goal is to keep the queen bee alive, right? So we have a lot of hornets. And we might actually be overwhelmed on this one. Obviously, if you wouldn't uh, constantly click on next wave like I'm doing right now for showing purposes. Um, you, you would be quite better prepared and, and the hornets wouldn't be overwhelming your uh, defenses. So, so right now, this is probably it for us in this uh, playthrough attempt. Uh, we're already losing some some of our buildings, I believe. Yeah, we lost, we lost the hex here. And I don't know exactly how well our... Our queen is doing. Oh, we actually survived it. Okay, let's let's see. Let's see what it takes to take this down. What we've built so far. We'll keep uh, upgrading a little bit while we while we wait for our inevitable demise. But that's how we're gonna end it. Oh yeah, there's a ladybug. <laughs> so the game didn't even have time to pop up the little story thing uh, that will tell you. Oh no, they've teamed up with the ladybugs. Uh, but yeah, there's ladybugs. And they're big boys. So already you have the first wave and the dragonflies are doing their stuff. Destroying everything as best they can. And they will want to take down your queen. So we don't even have any soldiers anymore. These were all destroyed in the last wave. And while this looks kind of crazy in terms of enemy amounts. Uh, as I said, don't worry. If you properly play this and not just summon wave after wave like I'm doing. Probably gonna be fine. And if not, well, just go and try again. That's that's the beauty of such games. Um, it's no matter, by the way, if, if your connections die here. You just can't build out from anywhere where you don't have something already. But things don't get destroyed just because you left the connection between things, right? So the uh, ladybug just threw his payload there. And I'm sure he's... Oh, no. Actually, he was shot down. Do we survive another wave? Is, uh, did we build too much of these? We might just have. Okay, so we do see the health of the queen once she's affected. Let's get the next wave. She regenerates Kana on her own. We've lost 20 bees and killed 37 enemies. As I said, the, the attacks get increasingly worse, as it would be in any tower defense star game. So the Hornets don't attack our defenses. They try to kill our bees first. But the Ladybugs and the Dragonflies, they just... They go for our infrastructure. They go for our buildings. And for our Queen. And you can see, okay, now the Hornets are going for the Queen because all the bees are dead. They're swarming the Queen. Obviously, uh, the many towers that we built are defending properly against them still but uh, we might not be so lucky on the bombing runs I, I really love the fact that the that the bigger enemies just kind of start burning <laughs> it's so funny to me yes the enemies just start burning okay let's see what this can do so they drop these bombs and Okay, this one didn't get far either. We still have some dragonflies coming in. I wonder what it'll take to kill us. They were pretty close there. So let's see if the next wave does it. There's also a reason I'm doing this. Uh, there's an achievement for dying. <laughs> and I haven't lost yet. So I figured this video here would be good. All the content is done at this point. So if, if you got all that you need out of this video, you can leave. Thanks for watching. Uh, everyone else can stay because now the rockets are coming in. <laughs> uh, fireflies have upgraded. And you can see how, they, how they're how they wearing combat uh, fatigues. And, and they, are, they are here for a big fight. They have, they have armed themselves and armored themselves. And the dragonflies are slowly... Don't worry, it's an arms race, but you are not stuck on uh, ballistas and, and these kind of defenses forever.
Uh, it's much more resilient than I would have expected it uh, in, in terms of what we built so far. Though this Hornet here seems to have found like a like a blind spot on our defenses. These turrets, they don't see it anymore. And that should be it now. There we go. And that, I also got the achievement, so game over. And you start over, and that's perfectly fine. And that's it. That's B Island. Again, I don't think it's worth full price because it's quite pricey for what it is at the moment. But if you can get it on a sale or you just really love bees, um, not saying that the developer supports bees in any way, shape or form, but if you enjoy playing around with bees like that, totally worth it. Get it. I only got it because it was on sale and it was kind of fun. Uh, as the video comes up, it might still be on sale, but still then it's, it's kind of pricey for what it is. Honestly, I've got more enjoyment and more longevity out of uh, much cheaper and much smaller games but uh, i see it going they have a discord join that uh, take part in discussions the developer seems to be quite active and friendly check it out might be for you if it is leave a like leave a comment i'll see you around next time until then thank you very much and bye bye